Hello again. We're going to move on with another micro lecture. This one is on calculating accelerations. So we've talked about how to represent it with vectors. We've talked about how to, uh, or what it means kind of as an idea. Now we're actually going to figure out the technical definition and it's the way to calculate it. The products for this one are three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and the follow-up questions on Google Forms. So the technical definition of acceleration is the change in velocity per unit time. That means how much is the velocity changing each second um, or each minute or each hour, whatever your time is being measured in. So to represent that as an equation, we've got change in velocity represented by this delta V here. Per is represented by the uh, fraction bar and time is represented by t down here. So that gives us the equation. Acceleration, the variable is a. The units are meters per second squared. That's how you say this up here. It can also be written like this, although we prefer it in the um, exponent notation. And the, ex um, what do you call it? The equation for it is a equals delta v over t, where delta v means change in velocity. Alternative, if you think about it, a change just means you take your beginning value and your ending value and you find the difference between them. So you could also write it as the final velocity minus the beginning or initial velocity, where VF means final and V0 means kind of initial or the velocity at time zero, so like right when this begins. So if you look at how much that velocity changes, you divide the, uh, it by the amount of time it took to change that amount, that gives you the acceleration. Alternatively, you could reorient the equation Vf minus V0 over T equals A into Vf equals V0 or V0 plus A times T. If you don't know how to do this mathematically, ask your teacher. Um, but this is basically the same equation, but it's now written so that the final velocity is what's kind of solved for over here. Sometimes people find this easier to remember, sometimes not. It kind of just depends. That's it. Three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentences for your summary, and please do the follow-up questions on Google Forms.